Hey everybody, my name's Kurt Johnston and I am a youth pastor out of the church in Southern California. Now the reason you're watching this video is because over the next seven weeks, your church and my church and actually lots of churches around the country, together we're working our way through a seven week series, a seven week campaign that we're calling Transformed. And, and here's how each session is gonna, is gonna happen, is that you're gonna get together and you're gonna watch this video. I'll show up and say hello, and then my pastor, Pastor Rick Warren, he's gonna spend about 20 or 25 minutes working his way and helping us discover God's awesome plan to help transform key areas of our lives. And then when the video's over, we've written about five or six questions for you to discuss in your Sunday school class or in your small group that are really written to say, hey, how does what Pastor Rick just talked about, how does that translate, how does that look in the life of, of a teenager? I think you're gonna have a great time over these seven weeks. The, the reason we call this series Transformed is because God is in the business. His number one goal for our lives is to transform us, to change us from the inside out. In fact, speaking of the inside out, the very first thing we're gonna talk about, the thing that God is most interested in transforming is our spiritual health. He wants us to be spiritually healthy. Because when you think about it, all these other areas in our lives that we want to be healthy, that we want to see God transform, whether it's our relationships or our, our, our attitude towards money or whatever it might be, it really all starts on the inside. Every other thing about our health has to do with, do I have a healthy relationship with Jesus Christ? Our spiritual health. That's what we're going to talk about today together. In fact, let's join Pastor Rick as he talks to us a little bit about God's desire to transform us into spiritually healthy people. Hi everybody, I'm so glad you're a part of this small group study of God's plan and God's promises for seven key areas of your life. Now in the next seven sessions, we're going to be looking at God's promises for your spiritual health, your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, your relational health, your financial health, and your vocational health. I call these the seven key areas of life. Now God cares about every area of your life, and He wants to bless you in every area of your life. He wants you to be healthy in body and in soul and in spirit. And He has given us the steps and the principles in His Word that we can take to live healthy, fulfilling lives, not just for our happiness, but ultimately for God's happiness and for His glory. You know, God's Word is filled with His promises to bless every area of our lives. But with all of God's promises, there's always a premise. Did you hear that? With every promise, there's a premise. God says, if you do this, that's the premise, then I will do this. That's the promise. For instance, the Bible says, if we confess our sins, that's the premise, he will forgive our sins. That's the promise. The Bible says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. That's the premise. And the Bible says, he will direct your path. That's the promise. Every promise has a premise. Now, over the next seven sessions, we're going to look at God's promises for each of these seven key areas of life. And we're going to discuss the premises or the conditions or the steps that we can take in order to live in God's blessing. Now, in this session, we're going to look at seven habits that will improve your spiritual health. We're going to start with your spiritual health. God has promised that if you practice these seven habits, and they're all out of Scripture, He will bless you with strong, strong, 